What is the Spirit of Prophecy? with comments from James White, Ellen White, A.T. Jones, and others. Can we receive the gift? Quote, and the dragon was wroth with the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God, and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. End quote. Revelation 12:17 and Revelation 19:10. Quote, he that hath ears to hear, let him hear. End quote. Matthew 11:15. Table of Contents. Introduction, page 3. The Spirit of Prophecy in the New Testament, page 6. The Spirit of Prophecy in the Old Testament, page 8. The Spirit of Prophecy by Examples, page 10. Progressive Truth and Sanctification, page 16. Private Interpretation, page 22. Conclusions Thus Far, page 23. J.N. Lothborough, page 25. Stephen Haskell, page 26. Roswell F. Cottrell, page 28. J. N. Andrews, page 35. James White, page 36. Ellen White, page 64. Alonzo T. Jones, page 68. Conclusion, page 78. Introduction. Within the revelation of Jesus Christ, Revelation 1, 1 through 2, we have placed before us the spirit of prophecy. In order to discern the immense value of understanding the truth of this subject, we will consider a brief point from Revelation 12:17. In this verse, we see mentioned a remnant. The first definition of remnant in Webster's 1828 Dictionary is, quote, residue, that which is left after the separation, removal, or destruction of a part, end quote. This, along with all other definitions of the word, shows that a, quote, remnant, end quote, is most definitely not, quote, the whole, end quote. The reason why this is so important is because only a remnant have this, quote, testimony of Jesus, which is the spirit of prophecy, end quote, Revelation 19.10. How zealous, then, we ought to be to have the testimony of Jesus, and how can we have this testimony if we don't even know what it is? One thing that stands out clearly is that this testimony is his, Jesus' testimony. Quote, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass, and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ, and of all things that he saw. End quote. Revelation 1, 1 through 2. What better way to learn what this testimony is than to learn it from the one whose testimony it is? We have already learned from comparing Revelation 12:17 with Revelation 19:10 that quote, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. End quote. But now we must ask, quote, what is the spirit of prophecy? End quote. Let Scripture answer. Quote, and I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. End quote. Revelation 19.10 quote, And I, John, saw these things, and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. End quote. Revelation 22, 8-9 Here are a few parallels in the above passages. Parallel 1 Revelation 19:10 and I fell at his feet to worship him. Revelation 22:8 through 9 I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel. Parallel 2 He said unto me see thou do it not. Revelation 19:10 Revelation 22:8 through 9 Then saith he unto me see thou do it not. Parallel 3 Revelation 19:10 I am thy fellow servant. Revelation 22, 8 through 9, I am thy fellow servant. Parallel 4, Revelation 19, 10, and of thy brethren. Revelation 22, 8 through 9, and of thy brethren. Parallel 5, 
Revelation 19.10, that have the testimony of Jesus. Revelation 22.8-9, the prophets. While this is not the end of the parallels in these passages, it is enough to illustrate the point. According to this, who are the brethren that have the testimony of Jesus? And what is the testimony of Jesus? Ah, there we have it. Those who have the spirit of prophecy are called, quote, prophets, end quote. Praise the Lord for the word of truth. This particular title, Spirit of Prophecy, is of course fitting since it is descriptive of what the Spirit does through the prophets, that is, prophesy. Quote, Holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost, end quote. 2 Peter 1, 21. Now many have different ideas as to when the gift of the Spirit of Prophecy began and how long it will last. Some believe that this gift is only a latter-day manifestation of prophets in the church, while others hold that prophets ceased at the close of the New Testament scriptures. Still others contend that Malachi, John the Baptist, Jesus, or some other was the last true prophet. We must then look to the scriptures to find the truth amidst the rubble of private opinions on the subject. As we seek the Lord on these matters, we can be assured that He will reveal to us many more important truths, some relating to this subject and some as a result of understanding this subject. Before we go on with the many scriptures on the topic, let us define the word prophet. The Hebrew word for prophet is Nabi, which means, quote, spokesman, end quote. Brown Driver Briggs Hebrew Definitions. This is from the root naba, which means, quote, to speak by inspiration, end quote, strongs. In other words, a prophet is someone who speaks on behalf of another through the method of inspiration. One may ask, why does God need a spokesperson? Can he not just communicate with each of us himself? This is a legitimate question, one whose answer is found in the beginning. In the beginning, God walked in the Garden of Eden, Genesis 3.8, and spoke personally to Adam, Genesis 1.28. However, after they had sinned, mankind was driven from the Garden and was separated from God, Genesis 3.23-24. We were not, though, abandoned. Quote, and the Lord God of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up betimes and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. End quote. Second Chronicles 36, 15. Quote, I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now every man from his evil way, and amend your doings, and go not after other gods to serve them, and ye shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers. But ye have not inclined your ear, nor hearkened unto me. End quote. Jeremiah 35, 15. So it is out of love that God sends prophets. Soon after the fall, we already have record of prophets among the people of God. Quote, and Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints. End quote. Jude 1, 14. Quote, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. End quote. Second Peter 2, verse 5. Quote, now therefore restore the man his wife, for he, Abraham, is a prophet, and he shall pray for thee, and thou shalt live. And if thou restore her not, Know thou that thou shalt surely die, thou and all that are thine. End quote. Genesis 20, verse 7. According to these passages, the spirit of prophecy was active in the days of Enoch, Noah, Abraham, and the line of prophets goes on and on. By the time we get to Moses, we see the Lord wanting to speak more directly to his people, but sadly they refuse him. Quote, and all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings, and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they were moved and stood afar off. And they said unto Moses, Speak thou with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. End quote. Exodus 20, verses 18 through 19. 
So why is it that the people did not want to hear the Lord directly? Could it be because the Lord is a consuming fire, Deuteronomy 4.24, and in their sinful state they could not bear his presence? Are we today in any better a condition? And if the Lord should want to send us a message to help us out of this terrible state, how would he go about doing so? 